I'm going to get a real job. I'm going to get a real job. Going to get a real job. Going to get a real job. Uh, this is quite surreal here. Uh, Joey Burns has just arrived in from the Vir- Virginia Pumpkin Festival, and with him he has brought seven pumpkins. <laughs> and, and out of those pumpkins, he has fashioned the faces of the seven presidential candidates. Well done, Joey. Well thank done, Joey. Thank you very much, Ray. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I suppose the, the, the challenge is if I can identify them, then you've done a good job. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We spoke to Joey the other day. Um, uh, the great festival it happened last year and it's happening again this year uh, up in Virginia in County Cavan it could be a homecoming as well couldn't it for Sean Geller? it could be odds are sort of fluctuating yes at the, at the moment, minute, you know? yes, yeah. that's him there I'd say is it because it, it is yeah that's him there yeah. yes yeah and that's David we're going to put pictures of these up uh, that's obviously David Norris because he's the only one that we know of who has facial hair <laughs> uh, uh, now the two women there I'm just looking the younger one obviously Mary Davis that's Dana how did Dana feel about her Dana is a great sport yes uh, she's a lovely woman we had a good chat with her before the show and she actually let us take a photograph with the punctured pumpkin right right which is the side of her, her uh, <laughs> the puncture I see it. you put in there put good. in where it was rimmed yeah. <laughs> Art- artistic license very yeah, good yeah. very good yeah, it's, very all good. it's all about uh, fun Martin McGuinness looks stern as he should yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd love to make his eyes blue. You, have you ever met the man? Uh, not personally, no. no, no. Uh, like a piercing blue, blue eyes. eyes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he locks you in a stare. I'm sure we might put some colour dye in it. Yeah, for, especially like, for you now. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, so you're a wood sculptor, I am. Uh, and uh, the, the people in the festival asked you to do this for us. Yeah. Uh, so thanks a million. It was a, you, did you get better as you went to the seven? Yeah, definitely. Uh, the first one took a day and a half. I done Sean Gulliger. Gulliger, yes, he's. Uh, Looking very ghoulish there. Well, I gave him fangs, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but he took a day and a half, and then because of the pressure of hitting the deadline, I done Scary Mary and Scary Gay Mary, Mitchell yeah. yesterday. So I done two in a day yesterday. Because because they've no colour. Uh, and because the, you know the eyes aren't sort of marked out but blue, they look quite scary, don't they? They, do, they look yeah. like they really look like corpses. Do you know they're they've got a sort of a you know sometimes you see a mask and it's quite eerie. Yes, to they have like that about rubber them. sort of like yeah. I don't I don't know if this is um, when people see this whether it'll affect the chances of the candidates or not. What do you think? <laughs> um, no, it's all a bit of fun, For, really, yeah. isn't it? You know, and it's I'm about promoting saying. the festival. I think Jenny. What do you think? I think Martin McGuinness is probably. The best of them is he or David Norris? Maybe David Norris because larger than life, big open face. David Norris, Martin McGuinness, Martin McGuinness. You say Martin McGuinness. Uh, now, just um, to give it a any tips on pumpkin carving, Will wants to know. <laughs> yeah, um, I, because I have wood carving tools. Obviously, that's what I went with. Um, but as I went through it, um, I ended up using scalpels. And a Dremel multi tool with, with uh, because you can't sand it like I'd sand a piece of wood. Right. Uh, to smooth out the tool marks, I use a Dremel. Multi-tool. A Dremel? It's a multi tool, a rotating tool. Right. And you have little stone shaped um, bits that you can use for, for, for you know, sanding they, down wood as well. Like, they go around, rotate. around, around. You yeah, rotate yeah. is the word I was looking for. Yeah. And you just, you just you go <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah, for yeah. taking the tool marks out of it. Uh, so. All right, right. right, but, right. Uh, yeah. now, just for people, so they know, it's, traditionally what you do is you take out the middle of the pumpkin and then you cut into the, what's the, the skin? The skin and the flesh, it. yeah. But what you've done is that you... Well, we did hollow them out first. Yes. Which I think in hindsight was a bit of a mistake because you can see... Uh, <laughs> Poor Michael Mike, D is collapsing Mike himself, is, himself, yes. Is very much like a, a spitting <laughs> image mask. Yes, that, that there's no head in. There's yes. no head in at the minute. <laughs> uh, so the last two I've done, I didn't hollow them out. And because, they were better. Well, pumpkins are 87% water, yeah. I'm told, by Pergola Nurseries in Virginia. Plug. And uh, so what I've done was I didn't hollow them out to leave the moisture in it to see if it lasts a bit longer. Right. Uh, now the festival, these are going to be on display. You're going to take them back with you after we take pictures of them. And they're going to be on display um during the festival in what? It, it's, it's the pumpkin experience is that they're going to be in the pumpkin wonderland wonderland right. and there's over <laughs> 20,000 pumpkins uh, in the pumpkin wonderland and what what they've done this year is they've taken in sculptures from a pumpkin festival in Germany of horses and carriages and all that sort of thing and they're all covered in really small colourful pumpkins it's, it's quite a spectacle right right know. right um, and up there as well as the water boys they're playing on Saturday night they're playing on Saturday night um, and they've done a brilliant performance on Jules Holland last night 
Um, they have a new album out. new album out based yeah. on Yates's um, writings. Right. Uh, of course, living in Sligo for the last number of years, uh, yeah. it'd be hard not to be influenced by that man, you know. And, and the, the, the centrepiece of the weekend is the competition. And is it just the biggest pumpkin they're looking for, or does it have to, is, is there do aesthetics come into it? I think the heaviest pumpkin That's is it. what it's That's all about. Right. Yeah, yeah. Whether you inject lead into it or whatever it takes, <laughs> I don't know. Um, the heaviest pumpkin, yeah. Uh, pumpkin enhancing drugs uh, the, on the Sunday actually one of the nicest things is they uh, turn out all the street lights and all the lights in the businesses uh, there's a blackout and they have the Mardi Gras type parade oh, great. and uh, this year they have Masamba uh, from Dublin a samba band that do a, a they've done a Tin Lizzy um, uh, show here in town a few months ago and they're bringing that to Old Castle so it's a mixture of uh, Tin Lizzy um, music with samba drumming and Brazilian ladies trying to, trying to trying clad, imagine dancing that. around the, girls, the streets of the Virginia. The girls are back in town. Yeah, suppose. absolutely. Yeah, um, oh, it will affect uh, the election because I'm voting for the best pumpkin. It's as good a reason as any. <laughs> <laughs> and Joey has a beautiful sculpture on the roundabout in Cavan uh, town. He's such uh, an interesting down-to-earth man. And uh, you'd need some Dremel to take the tool marks out of those seven, says somebody. <laughs> and uh, as I heard someone say, does Sean Gallagher just like look like a thumb with a face <laughs> he does that's personal now. that's personal Joey well, why did you give me that text <laughs> <laughs> on mature recollection um, I probably did I give you the text yes you did give me the text yes you did you I did. can't recall giving you a text uh, maybe I did was right. it in an imp- uh, well, Joey thank you very very much You're and very uh, welcome we're going to take pictures They'll be part of the Pumpkin Wonderland, uh, which is part of the Virginia Pumpkin Festival, which starts this Friday and runs till Sorry. next Monday. Monday. Yeah. Uh, and one of the pumpkins this year weighs the equivalent of a Fiat 500. That's Do you a, know what that is? Do you know? Well, what, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I know what a Fiat 500 just, is. Yeah. Just under a ton. Like just under a ton. Yeah, yeah. My word. Yeah. That's huge. And, and for some people, pumpkins are their lives. That's it. That's all they for, do. Well, you get anoraks in yeah. all departments of life. Like, you know, <laughs> yes, so you there's do. pumpkin anoraks out there. And uh, fair play to them. They're giving yeah. us a good festival, like, you know. <laughs> but I don't want to have a drink with you afterwards. Is that what you were saying, Joey? <laughs> That's it, yeah. The conversation would be short with me. <laughs> yeah. pumpkin itis after seven I'm days sure of you carbon. <laughs> Joey, thank you very much. You're very welcome. <laughs> and we dedicate this to you and to Dana. Thank you very much. Snow Tracks and Daffodils